Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. Did you know that many of the apps on your Android smartphone or tablet have access to your list of contacts, even if they have no real need to access them? This can be a real security concern because an app could collect your contacts' names, phone numbers, and email addresses and place them on a scammer's phone list or spam email list. Luckily, you can easily find out exactly which apps have access to your Android device's contacts info and then revoke that access for any apps that don't really need it. Here's how. First, tap the settings icon. Now tap privacy. Tap permission manager. And tap contacts. You should now see a list of all the apps that are currently installed on your device divided into two groups. Allowed, that's those apps that have access to your contacts, and Denied, the apps that do not have access to your contacts. Carefully consider every app that currently has access to your contacts to determine whether they actually need that access. You should then tap on every app that doesn't need it and select Deny to revoke access to your contacts. That's all there is to that. Now you have the option of tapping the back button, that's the left facing arrow, and doing the same thing for other permissions you see listed there. For example, there's uh, access to your camera, to your location, to your microphone, all kinds of things that a scammer could use. A good place to start would be location. After all, does your favorite web browser app really need access to your location? I would say no unless you use a Maps type of website or some other site that has a legitimate need to know where you are at any given time. And finally, here's something else to consider. Do the benefits provided by an app really outweigh the privacy hit you'll take from all the permissions it will grant to itself? If not, it might be best to simply refrain from installing that app in the first place. If you do believe an app is worthy of being installed on your device, I recommend that you immediately go into your device's settings as detailed above and revoke any and all permissions for that app that aren't really needed in order for the app to perform its intended function. If you found this tip useful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks a bunch.